What's going on pros, it's Sergio B back at it with PPG and today who are we with and what did you do? We're with Jose Feliciano, I just won the biggest program tournament today. And what did you play today? Uh, Amber Steel. How was the event? That was a great event. A lot of Ruby Amethyst and a lot of Amber Steel, pretty much. But you thought that was free? What were you prepared for? Uh, Ruby Amethyst, I, I think, was easier matchup with the way I built the deck. The mirror. It depends. Uh, my deck's better at going late game. Their deck's better at go other builds with fire. The cannons are better at going early game, and they're better at keeping me off th turn two rupture pitch, which is pretty much the best opening. The game. So before we get into it, do you want to do any shout outs? Uh, I want to shout out Michael Rivera. He is my practice partners and all the other six guys that flew in with me from Puerto Rico. We all test tested together for the tournament, and, and we bought a spoil where we play. Just okay, another Puerto Rican locals, huh? Uh, just another Puerto Rican locals. The finals was uh, another Puerto Rican with pretty much the same deck, which is six five card difference. So, that means you got a good deck. So let's get into it then. So here we go. We have the. We just start with the strong things. Yeah, if you want to turn around that way. The stitch package. Now the 12 stitches, uh, pretty much best and on board engine in the game. They both draw, which most other decks don't draw unless you're playing purple. And they put a lot of pressure and you can shift. There's a combo where you can shift this turn three and either start hitting him for three lower, which is a lot for turn three, or just sing a spell or just use its effect and pretty much draw your whole, whole deck. Uh, the pretty much the anti aggro we have to play a, plet a plethora of one and two drops to fuel the the gas of the of the rockster stitch, and also so it's easier to to fill the board so we can play a surfer. So we played the best anti aggro card with a captain hook, and he also has the. This guy, which not a lot of people play, he can shift and sing in turn three, which is the same with the deck, just to sing your strong spells. I mean, it's a passive, right? Yeah, it has a passive, which rarely comes up. It comes up in the, in the finals. People don't know that he can't be targeted by three or lower cards, and he's very good at trading efficiently in the, in the mirror because he's a challenger for five, and most of the monsters, uh, the, the cards in the in the mirror in the game, have five health. So it's a, it's a really good card. It's just, it's just there. This is another card that you use. Definitely a good tech for the day. Best one drop to combine with Roxy Stitch. Pretty much lets you draw two, discard one. Half of the time against Ruby Amethyst, you just want to set up boards where if they be prepared, you you have another Rockstar and a, and, a, and a Simba. Pretty much early Wonders, but particularly Simba, he's going to find you other one drops. And in the early game, it helps you find Lantern. Other than that, it's just another one drop. Mostly ink. I think this is the best two drop we have available in the game. We could play Prince Eric, but this the, this card lets you kind of go aggro in the early game and in the mirror. While the lore you get in the early turns is it's great. It's, I mean, you have to get maybe like an eight, nine, and after that, it's just a, a push of a lot of surfers and ones on cards on board. So the bodyguard comes helpful, it's usually in two. Another two drop. It's a, it's a song, it's just another target for. Let's just put them here. The, oh, an aerial, aerial package, aerial, okay. The aerial package is singing. You just want to see these cards mostly. Your deck revolves around, well, not this deck entirely, because it's, it's a hybrid hybrid between like the full on whole new world and a full on mid range that doesn't play whole new world. So it's just a consistency card. You, I wish I could play more targets, but there aren't any other good targets in the game. And so, yeah, ink cards mostly ink in the, the end game. You can use it to to try to find your surfers and 
it's also very important with these two cards to make sure how you arrange the cards so you don't take to your hand because a lot of the matches you're going to see them again and you can put them in an order when you have, if you have a rock star you know you're going to draw a lot of one drops so you know we are fueling them and in the mirror it's important because you want to know where your homie world are, are because you can sometimes mill the opponent did you mill anybody today uh no in top i was gonna mill someone in top eight i just won the game before <laughs> sounds like a good deck but it was a mirror he he just started drawing a lot of cards a lot more than me i kept asking him how many cards you have and that i have two whole new worlds and when he said i'm like 19 i'm like well i'm gonna mill you eventually because <laughs> you are, you are, you're 10 cards deeper than me so that's not a lose condition in the mirror you, you have to draw but you have to be worried about other players not decking you out it's a yellow ramp god i love mana rocks ramp is great in every game also most of, some of the cards are signed because a lot of the illustrators signed them after i won the the tournament Just, it's a ramp and what makes this deck great in the mirror with decks that don't play this or play the more no whole new world deck is that just you just get on the board faster and it makes a difference usually this, who has the biggest bit the biggest card on the field wins that's usually means this so whoever gets these on board and sticks a couple of things gonna win the mirror there's no out and in against also it helps you with the rockstar combo but against ruby amethyst it's the same thing. You want to get on board as quickly as possible and pre put pressure on them before they're, they're, they have to be prepared. And usually, you, you don't want to play into be prepared if they don't have something on board. Most of the decks now play an evasive package. You have to let them get on board. And it's kind of like a game of chicken because you're both going to be in a race floor. They can't beat you at any point, so you can't. So they can, but they need to be prepared their own minions. If you can't get them to be prepared, then you're just gonna they're gonna sing be prepared and summon them after prince, you're not gonna come back. Uh this is the card that my friend Michael made me play. You convinced me. We play in front fire the cannons, we're testing different builds. I guess it was the it was a hedge in the Mary kills it kills Ariel. It hits and it combines with other cards to hit the magic number five. Um, it was the best card in the finals, was the best card on the mirror, so it was the best card. I think it was, you know, we performed. Wouldn't play more of them because I don't space, but if you have fine space, maybe you can play up to three, if it's more, and it's inkable, that's the important reason. Yeah, I was going to say inkable, being inkable definitely puts it up there. Yep. Most debated thing about the games for Punzel, it's clearly. Pretty much the best card in the game when you see its effect, stats, and everything. People know it and they just play around it. So you have to play for tempo. It's a one fight, a large two. It's pretty much unkillable in a matchup. Yes, you can get value of it, but if people are going to play around it, just drop it on board, play for mana, and use it. It's not going to do anything in the hand. And anyway, I play Hades. So even if it gets killed, I can just recycle it in eight mana and then use it. And most people don't expect the Hades now. It was popular before, but people dropped it. It's very good in long games and, and against Ruby Amethyst. And obviously, you can loop that against be prepared to go the board or get a, a small Simba to combine with the Rockstar. Uh, it's great against the two best decks. It's great against Ruby Amethyst. You, you, have, you can play two two ways. You either cast when you were really fast and out. They have seven cards turn and turn seven. They have to ink for the next turn, so they have to play the five next five turns without with essentially seven cards. So you just need to stop the shield, stop the the pocket watch, so they don't make a very big swing with with the ladding. Yes, you can use it very late game against against mirrors, or you can just use it if you have any of their targets. But if they're paying five mana in the mirror just to draw a card, it means they're not playing a bomb. You, you should be ahead. In the very late game, that's when you hit mirrors. And in the mirror match, if they're playing the same build as, as I am, it's very... 
Man, you have to have a lot of things to do most of your combos that let you clear the board. It costs a lot of mana. I have to sing a lot of cards. It hits Lantern. So it's it's not great, but it's a good card, especially if you play it in curve because it's a singer afterwards. And Tinkerbell. My favorite card. It's a great card when you're playing mashups or just have a lot of minions on board. The two damage combines with the other AOE removal and the one damage combines with their cards. You also have to be wary of just sh shifting them on top of each other because that combines for a small AOE. Other than that, it's just a great card independently. I don't play the small tinker. Turn three usually has to be a, a one draw for the lantern. And if you're playing lanterns, you're just gonna hit six mana a lot quicker. So shifting, it's a seven mana tempo swing. And if they see a more small tank, they're usually gonna play around it. Well, I mean, the deck definitely performed. It got you the winner, Matt, at the PPG event. Did you have anything else to say about the deck? Any we're, changes? We have to see what set, set, set two brings. I just. People are all hyped up with the new cards, but the whole new world thing might be a problematic card for the rest of the game. Yeah. I mean, drawing seven. Drawing seven. Yeah. And especially because you can sing it. That's the issue. And yeah. search it. And, and <laughs> search it. The problem is that you can sing it. If you, if you could pay five and play, it's fine. It's, it's, you lose a lot of tempo. The name of the game in most matchups with this deck is tempo. You want to pressure your opponent out of the game as fast as possible. Well, all right, I hope to see you see on more PPG events coming down the line. Hope to see you performance set too. Thank you very much. No